Hey, good weekend everybody. How y'all doing? We got Lyle coming to you for my weekend shave. It's a Saturday shave today because it's Halloween. So for Halloween, I figured it was time to break out Hallows. Just got this in this week. Uh, it's my first Hallow set. I have smelt some of the older um, releases before. It's my first soft heart re uh, release soap from Barrister and Man. Scent wise here off the tub, I think I get primarily the cocoa up front. Um, and I'm gonna say maybe a touch, maybe a touch of like the vetiver and the spices below it, um, or the pepper behind, below it I should say, but this really isn't a spicy scent to me. As you can see, it's like a brownish scent, it's very soft. I have shaved with it twice, each time about an aw, almond amount of it. Mm. You push into that very easy. <laughs> Guess what I've called soft heart, right? Um, I'm very happy to have this in my den, though. Uh, we don't have a lot of Bear Stern Man. I really wanted to get my hands on one of these. So let's get some water on the face here for you guys. Or for this, we'll get this going. We'll talk about the soap a little bit more. Talk about Halloween, see how everybody's doing. I have started it this time. <laughs> in my Thirsty Badger mini bowl. I'm using the Frugal Shave 3D printed Star Wars lightsaber handle with a 24 millimeter uh, blood knot synthetic knot in it. Ooh. I think it's very well hydrated already. So we'll see. So we'll see how this video quality goes today. Again, I'm playing with the camera app on my phone, see if I can fix things up. Hopefully it's not so uh, color changey, I guess is the word, way I want to say it on you guys. Just work this in lightly into my whiskers and then we'll mainly paint. So like I said, off the tub, actually the set notes on this soap, I should tell you guys first, right? We have vetiver, oak moss, black pepper, cocoa, labdomen, and cedar. So off the top to me, it was cocoa forward. Um, you know, maybe touch of the vetiver and pepper and then underneath. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once I lathered this, the cocoa is still up, for, up front for me. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, but I'm positive I get more of that vetiver it is, and I think the oak moss. It's definitely not a scent that'll be for everyone. It's again a polarizing scent, I think, is how I classify this for you guys. Get some more hydration here. Soft heart can take a lot of uh, water. You can call it a thirsty soap. I think that's fair. I'm going to have to do some testing to quantify that. Thinking about ways I can uh, do tests to quantify the thirst of a soap when I use it for you guys and the ease of lathering. So I think talking about slickness is kind of redundant nowadays. I'll talk about it still, tell you if I think the soap's slick or not. But most soaps are nowadays. There's very few I think I don't think have enough slickness to be shaved with. I like to really work a lot of water into this, into most of my soaps or my lathers. But I think we're good. Honestly, I could probably get more into this, but I think we're okay here. Try it out. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> so, 
How do I barrister and man sense? I don't have a lot of barrister and man in my den right now. Um, I think I have three. Mm, yeah, I think I have three. Let me think about that. Um, who's your gothic is definitely king for barrister and man for me. Again, another very polarizing scent, but I think it's just wonderful. Um, will this replace that as my favorite scent? Hell no. This is nice. You know, I think this is nice saying you can be you can wear it easily for the fall and winter. Um, for casual use. I don't think you'd wear this out on a date. I don't well, it depends on your depends on your uh, significant other, right? Or spouse. So if they like it enough and you could. So for the blade today, I'm gonna use my ale, nine eats, kind of like a half hollow, somewhere in there. Great razor, got a J nut edge on this now. I've been really enjoying it. So let's get going with the grain. Absolutely zero issues with uh, slickness or glide on this soap. <laughs> Does a great job. Scent strength. I think I want to put it right around medium. It's nothing that'll blow your socks off. It's right around industry standard, maybe a tad lighter. Uh, but my nose is plugged quite a bit today. I'm having allergy problems. This time of year for me happens a lot. So. I do like, I do like the performance of the soap base. Um, again, this is kind of like a first impressions because this is only my second time using this soap and it's my only soft heart base. But I want to say It does a great job. So I'm very happy with it. Um, it might be my favorite Barrister Man base. Sure, he's still out, but I think it's really good. And I think it, uh, if you're willing to spend the time with it and hydrate it properly, this rewards you with a lot of selectness. Like my fingers just glide, even with residual. It does a very good job. So how's you guys' weekend been going? You guys ready for Halloween? Uh, are you guys able to go trick-or-treating in your area? Or do you feel comfortable going trick-or-treating if you haven't taken your kids out? Um, we're only taking our kids to select, uh, select a few friends' houses. And then we have what we call like a, like a box party where we bought them candy at home and the dress up. We've got some games set up for them. We're going to watch a movie with mom and dad and grandma. And then after I'm done the shave here, they're going over to the other grandparents also before that to do crafts and that kind of stuff with them and have some fun. So I think that's how we're running it this year. 
Um, I'm going to miss seeing my nieces and that kind of stuff, but I just feel with the uh, Everything seems to be back on the rise again. Number wise with COVID. And with many people I see who can't seem to be bothered with social distancing or masking. I know lots of people don't think a mask is important, but I, I do, and you know what? If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. Um, I'll do everything I can to protect my family. I have people in my family that are immune compromised and have unknown conditions right now, so. I will do everything I can. Keep them safe. And I hope most people do that for their families too. I feel that's besides the fact, you know, I love them. Uh, the most important thing to me in my world is my family. Um, you know, my immediate family, my extended family. Part. Besides loving them, in my opinion, it's part of my job as their father and, their, and my wife's husband and my mom's son and that. And my niece's aunt and uncle and being a brother-in-law, son-in-law, it's, it's part of my job as the family, family to do my part to keep them all safe. So if it's stuff I don't like doing, I say suck it up and I'm going to do it. And my daughters actually agree with me, which is really nice. You know, for Halloween for them, I, I was really torn on this, but I was very proud of them for agreeing that a lot of trick-or-treating wasn't worth any health risks for their sisters, their mother. So, anyways, there's my rant, guys. Agree with me, disagree with me. <laughs> Soap's doing great on the get across the green. Thought I might have nicked myself there. I don't think I did. There's a little raised bump there right now, and I don't think I got it, so we're golden. You can see a cut right here. I'm tired today, but I was way too tired two days ago. I shouldn't have been shaving. Yeah, I'm like yawning through the whole shave, all that kind of stuff, and I, I dug a point into my skin really badly. So, oops. I'm gonna go do some laps here real quick, and I'll be right back for the Against the Grain Pass, everyone. All right, I'm back for against the green. I did 30 laps on my strop. And we'll get the soap back on my face here. So speaking of Halloween, you know, what are your little ones going as? Or what are you going as? Uh, my oldest daughter is going as Scarlet Witch from the movies. Looks pretty cool and she's really jazzed about it. It's awesome she wanted to be a mutant superhero. My middle daughter is going as a candy pirate. She came up with a really cool caution that she made up herself and everything and I was really jazzed and excited for her with her creativity and how excited she was to do that and my youngest is going as Evie from Descendants if you have kids I'm sure you've seen that movie especially if you have daughters or movies I've seen one two and three more times than I can count <laughs> I don't mind the match I enjoy watching with my girls so, very, very excited for them to have their costumes and have their time today. And it was really nice that my mom was able to be here for them. She isolated for three weeks before coming to see us just to ensure everything was good. So, it's been here for the week. Against the grain, guys.
So feels great, feels really smooth. I'm very, very happy with the new edge on this razor. It just took a wonderful edge. Um, it's insanely sharp, insanely smooth. What else can you ask for? The light touch, it just goes right through everything. Can't believe I've missed that area. So my ADHD is kicking in. I just had something I was gonna to talk to you guys about and I totally forgot it. <laughs> Oops. So I want you guys comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the soft heart base. Also, let me know what your favorite Barrister and Man soap base is, favorite Barrister and Man scent is. I'd also be interested to know what your favorite Halloween scent is. So there's the topics for you guys. Like I said, for me, Fuji Gothic, my favorite Bear Star Man scent. I don't have a lot of them. I've tried quite a few. Sample wise. There's definitely a few I do like. Yeah, I think, I think Seville is a classic from Bear Stern Man as a uh, citrus barbershop type scent. Uh, I'll probably add that to my den eventually. Let me know, Rush. So, base-wise, this may be taking the cake for me. I'm really enjoying it from them, uh, but we'll see. Time will tell. I actually used to really dislike the reserve base and I've grown to really enjoy it and love it. Um, the other new base, oh, it's the name's escaping me right now. Sorry, I will comment in it right here. I've only had in samples, but I've really liked it. So, I, uh, for me, Fuji Gothic. And then I'm torn between this base right now, the soft art base, I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm probably gonna go with soft art, but the jury's still out on that. So, gotta use it some more, right? And that clean up in there, guys. Probably do a swipe there. Everything else feels pretty darn good. So I'm also looking at stuff. <laughs> Maybe a little bit different videos for you guys coming up for the next month. Uh, my wife has asked me if I'm interested in doing No Shave November. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I had facial hair. It was over 20 years ago for sure. Damn it, there goes the color changing. Um, so I'm, tomorrow might be starting No Shave November for me. If I do it, I will still be doing neck cleanups. 
I want to keep this area looking clean at least, but it'll be growing up here. So we'll see. We will see. I'll let you guys know. One second, please. So Sorry about that. All right, that's golden. I'm gonna do my cleanups. I'm oh, sorry, I got my gear. <laughs> Wash my face. I'll be back for the post shave. All right, I'm back. Rinse off my gear. Warm water rinse, cold water rinse, pat dry. Great shave, really enjoyed how that feels, guys. I'm gonna do a little barbado here. Feels good. A little bit of alcohol stink, but not bad. I don't see any blood. Maybe a nick there, but I don't really see it. Barbado feels great on the skin. The, the skin feel after using that is really, really nice. Oops, there goes the focus. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to use also now. Hollow's Bomb. Um, I was really kind of disappointed I couldn't get a splash this year, but that's okay. See, there's the bomb. Uh, it's actually a little chunky, which is really interesting to me. The scent on this is definitely stronger than the soap. Um, I'm going to say what I get off of here. It's probably the cocoa still up front the most, followed by the better and the oak moss. Maybe a touch of the pepper. It goes on, spreads very easily. You don't need much. And it feels really good. So it's nice for this time of year to have a balm for the winter, especially up here. So right on. So there's my shave for you guys. We'll do just a quick review. We have Barrister Man 2020 Soft Heart Hollows Edition. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, I think the scent will be polarizing. You may like it, may not. Use my 3D frugal shave. Sorry about the exposure here, guys. Um, 24 millimeter blood knot. Thirsty Badger lather bowl, mini bowl. And the beast today, the weapon is the AL 9 8 full hollow smile. Right on. Well, thank you for joining me for my shave today. I appreciate you guys taking your time. I want to wish you all a happy Halloween. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy shaving, everyone.